Well, Wednesday I went out at work um like like four between the four fifteen and the four four thirty. I received a call from one of my friends. She said that <laughs> your house is on fire. I was like, what? I was like, which one of my houses is on fire? And uh, she said the the, the the small one. I was like, oh that's my storage house. So I, I quickly called one of my cousins. I, I told him to go over to my house quickly. So when he get over there, I called back and um he said some people was already over there. That is my some of my neighbors, some some good Samaritan from my village. They're trying to prevent my house from getting on fire because they caught on fire because my um the storage house is like 15 to 20 feet away from my house and then when i get home there was like um on the meter on my house the heat from from the storage house melt the meter on melt the house. meter on my house you know that was so it is so serious so yeah. it is weird that my storage house burnt first and then the fire started to spread like a bushfire so <laughs> i don't think i will find finger as i said let me see what the police have to say about that you have some suspicions at this point, I would imagine. Yes, I do. What was inside that warehouse? <laughs> the most important thing that inside that bothers me, it was a bed that was 50 plus years. That bed was, that was bed was for my mom that was passed on to from her grandmother. And my mom, pa my mom changed her bed in 2016, right? And my mom passed in 2013. Well, that was the only bed that I had to remember her with. Is there any possibility, any chance, even a little bit, slightest, that you may have been targeted as a result of your recent victory? As I said, I will leave that up to the police department to do the investigation.